In the past few years, so many tools have come into our lives with a promise of making us a lot of money really fast, really easy. You don't need to have any skills with this tool. It's going to be amazing. And the truth is, if you look closely deeper into each and every one of them, it's not that easy. I mean, yes, we can do insane things. You can have your own art generated by an AI art generator and sell it on print demand, but you might not sell that fast. You can have Copy AI write blog posts for you while you use affiliate links, but hey, you're still gonna have to market your blog somehow and put in the work yourself. And I don't think it's that different with ChatGPT. And maybe it's one of the reasons why it took me so long to make this video. And well, from the title of this video and from this intro, I guess you can figure out that this video is all about ChatGPT. I recently checked it out. And in this video, I'd like to, you know, first of all, have fun <laughs> with ChatGPT because it is rad rather fun. And in today's video, I would like to go over ChatGPT with you guys and try to see how this can make you money in various ways, whether we're talking about print demand, selling printables, affiliate marketing, content creation, or even writing books for KDP. And I'm super excited because it's actually, it's been kind of cool. So let's just get started. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today I am going to check how you can make money with ChatGTP or more like can you make money with ChatGTP? Because we've heard so many people talking about this and I feel like so many people talking about this has made me kind of not want to make this video. And there are three reasons why I haven't made a video about ChatGPT just yet. The first is the hype. Everybody is super hyped up about this. Hey, ChatGPT, give me t-shirt design ideas. Like what to write on a t-shirt for dog lovers. That is not that much of a game changer. You still have to design the t-shirt, upload it to a platform and market it right? And so many people were like, this is such a game changer because it could write you like a small, like a short story. And I'm like, there are multiple AIs that can already do that for years, including by the way, copy AI that we've checked in this channel. The second reason why I haven't made a video about ChatGPT yet was because I have so many videos in my pipeline <laughs> and it's insane. And the third reason why I haven't checked out ChatGPT yet was because, well, I actually did try to check it out, but I don't think it works in Bulgaria and I'm too lazy to use a VPN. Hence, coming here to Greece a few days ago and trying ChatGPT for the first time it was actually kind of a funny story. I was uh, having a bit of a rough few days after the trip here with my stomach. I've been rather sick in the past few months. I'm finally starting to, I, I hopefully feeling better. I keep feeling like I'm saying I'm going to feel better and then I'm getting sicker. But we were sitting here yesterday and Misha was like, hey, let's just check ChatGPT, like, you know, to keep my mind busy and thinking about other things. And <laughs> the amount of questions that we asked was insane. And also the amount of data that we got. And I do have to say in advance, not all the data that we got was correct or even relevant. And some of it can actually get you in trouble when it comes to selling things online. So take everything with a grain of salt and always consult, you know, your own sanity and other sources before you take the advice of any AI tool to do pretty much anything online. And uh, yeah, I even asked it for a relationship advice. That was the funny part. But what I want to do with you guys today is, uh, reach for my computer and explore the ways in which you can make money using ChatGPT online. And we are talking specifically about affiliate marketing, print on demand, selling printables, KDP, as well as content creation. And a short explanation about each and every one of them, just a sentence so that everybody's on the same level. Affiliate marketing is when you reference or recommend a company or service that you are not personally selling. For example, in this channel, I'm referring people to design using Kittle, which is an awesome design platform. Or also purchase a domain and hosting from a company called hostinger.com, which is what I'm personally using for all of my websites. In exchange for me explaining how to use these tools or sharing information, I have my own links. And if you click on them and purchase the service, I get commission. That is affiliate marketing. And you can affiliate market pretty much anything, including things from Amazon. A lot of people do that. For example, make a whole YouTube channel about book reviews and then affiliate the books. And you basically get money every time a purchase is being made a certain percentage. I know a lot of people are thinking that affiliate marketing is immoral and it can be if you recommend a bad company that gives a bad service and pretend it's amazing because you want to get the money. But to me, affiliate marketing is just the purest way of making money. I just see something that I like and I enjoy and I'm using and I recommend it to others and I make money through it. So that's pretty cool. The second method of making money that I mentioned that we will be checking with ChatGPT is print on demand, which is the topic of half of my YouTube channel, as well as the hoodie that I'm wearing right now and the phone case that I'm using for the phone that's filming this video. And even my planner, 
and the notebook I wrote the script of this video on. So print on demand is basically when you create a design and you upload it onto a simulation or a mock-up of a product on a marketplace or with a supplier. You don't need to have any stock of that product and potential clients will see a mock-up of your product. And if a sale is being made, the company that you're working with, whether it's a marketplace like Redbubble, Society6, Zazzle, TeePublic, or it's a production company like Printful or Awkward Styles, that company will produce the item and ship it to the client. It's a cool way to make money. Again, half my channel is about that. The third method I mentioned is printables, which is pretty much selling anything that someone can print at home, whether it's coloring pages or stationary paper or greeting cards or a lot of other things that are here on this channel as well, and there will be more tutorials about them. The fourth way that we will explore today using ChatGPT to make money online is KDP. Amazon KDP is a self-publishing platform where you can publish your books online. A lot of people use it for notebooks and for journals, but you can also write a full novel or short stories and publish them yourself using Amazon. Now, when I say KDP, which is Kindle Direct Publishing, I also mean writing short stories or, you know, writing books to any other platform like Blurb or Ingram Spark or even working with traditional publishers. And the fifth and last way that we'll be exploring ChatGPT today as a way to make money online using that tool that we have now is content creation, which is what I'm doing now. And I need to stop yapping <coughs> and grab my laptop. Now, in order for me to do this, in order for me to share my screen with you guys, I just need to perform a little bit of a magic trick. So um, let me focus. And now I'm small and you can see ChatGPT and all is right in the world. We are here on ChatGPT where you can immediately start writing something and hit the enter button. Let's start with what everybody else is doing, which is, you know, ChatGPT helped me design a print on a man t-shirt, but we're not going to design a t-shirt. We're going to design something else. So for example, uh, please write me five suggestions for greetings for an Easter greeting card for a grandma. Wow, I'm being very specific here. Wishing you a basket full of joy. Oh, I love that. I really need to, <laughs> I need to use this because, you know, Easter is right around the corner. I did a full tutorial about Easter stuff and I'm Jewish, <laughs> so I have no idea what to write. And this is like writing. This is going. Wishing you a basket full of joy and love this Easter season. Happy Easter, Grandma. Sending you lots of hugs and kisses this Easter. I love this. May the peace and hope of Easter bring you happiness and blessings, Grandma. This is gorgeous. I love this. Now, we are talking about greeting cards here, and that could be printable greeting cards or print-on-demand greeting cards, or even if you're selling, like, physical greeting cards. These are awesome things to write. But you can also use this, for example, I could have said, like, not five suggestions, but ten suggestions. So let's rephrase it a little bit. So I'm going to write, please write me uh, ten suggestions for greeting cards for Easter. Uh, for greetings for a greeting for an Easter greeting card for friends. Now the reason why I'm doing this, first of all, I can have a lot more Easter card ideas, but what I can also do is have a full blog that talks about greetings. So many people don't search for greeting cards online to buy them. They search for ideas on what to write on a greeting card. And you can have a full blog with ideas about what to write for a greeting card literally manufacturing all of these ideas from chat GTP, which is pretty cool. And I kind of want to dump everything I'm doing right now and do that. <laughs> oh my God, this platform is going to give me the worst shiny new thing syndrome ever. Focus. May the Easter Bunny, I'm reading number 10, may the Easter Bunny bring you lots of treats and may your day be filled. It's like, is that like Santa? Why is he bringing you treats? And may your day be filled with all the things you love. Happy Easter, friend. May Easter be time of renewal, hope. This is really, really cool, and I really like it. But you know what? Let's do something else. Let's ask ChatGPT, where should I sell my print-on-demand stuff, right? Because a lot of people want to know that. So what is a better platform to sell print-on-demand t-shirts? Redbubble or TeePublic? Ha. Huh. Let's see how he handles that. Both Redbubble and TeePublic are popular platforms for selling print-on-demand merchandise, including t-shirts. The choice of which platform to use may depend on your specific needs and goals. Redbubble is a well-established platform that has a large audience with a strong focus on art and design. They offer a wide range of products, including t-shirts, la 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 la. TeePublic, on the other hand, specializes in t-shirt printing and has a slightly different business model. They offer a wider range of t-shirt styles. Well, that is kind of true because you have more t-shirt styles and more t-shirt colors 
on Tee Public than you do have on Redbubble. So this is kind of cool. And you know what? I'm going to... Oh, it stopped itself. Ultimately, the best platform for you depends on your specific goals. I like that he said that because that is true because there is no perfect platform. Now, I already did a bunch of stuff yesterday and I feel like there's so many examples there that could be really important for this discussion. So print-on-demand t-shirt ideas. I was searching for this yesterday. Uh, just give me ideas for print-on-demand t-shirts. So trending topics, designs that reflect current events, pop culture, and social media trends are always popular. Okay. By the way, some current events, for example, the major health crisis we had two years ago and the toilet paper shortage actually got people banned on specific platforms. So, hey, take this advice with a grain of salt, right? Humor. Humorous designs, puns, memes, and timeless are always in style. Inspiration quotes, la 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 la. Abstract art on t-shirts. Okay. Nature. We have pop art. Featuring popular characters and icons are always a hit with the fans. Again, no one's telling you here, hey, are you licensed to do that? Yes, if you're creating charmed t-shirts on Redbubble because you're a part of their charmed fan art, that's okay. But in most platforms, that's copyright infringement and you can get banned and kicked out of the platform or have a suit against you. Retro and vintage designs, sport teams, designs featuring logos and mascots of popular sports teams. <laughs> How fast do you want to get banned from anywhere? And political issues, it's nice that they said it's important to be mindful of the message you're trying to convey and avoid offending anyone. I don't think you can do that with politics in the US. And customized design featuring names, initials. This is actually kind of cool. But again, you saw ChatGPT literally tells you to design things that can get you banned because it's not perfect. I also asked ChatGPT yesterday, what kind of printables can I sell on Etsy? There are many types of printables you can sell on Etsy. Some popular options include planner inserts, wall art, stationery, scrapbooking elements, party decor, that's cute, educational materials, home decor. I, I think it's kind of weird, like including art prints because we do have wall art, but yeah, personalized products, including monogrammed items. These are just a few examples, but the possibilities are endless. Now. I also wanted to see um, if you want to sell printables online, where can you do that? So these are several websites that allow you to sell printables online. Etsy, Selfie, Gumroad, and Creative Market. I feel like it's kind of similar to a video that we had in the past where I did a video about alternatives for Etsy. So I did mention Selfie and Gumroad as well as Payhip, which is what I'm using for Maytribe.com for my digital downloads personally. And also you can do that on Shopify and other platforms as well as Creative Fabrica. I know some viewers of this channel sell on Creative Fabrica and there are a lot more places opening up, including Zazzle, which is finally doing printables. But yeah, this could be a good way to do some research. But what if we actually want to get more specific information than this? So I literally typed in what kind of designs sell best on Society6. And I want you to notice that it changed the name of my chat to Society6 Design Trends because it really does understand what I'm doing. It's crazy. So Society6 is a platform for artists and designers to sell their work as a variety of products, including home decor, accessories, la la la. And the design trends, some of the popular design trends are abstract and minimalist, clean and simple designs, nature inspired, pop art and graphic designs, which are eye-catching bold designs with bright colors and graphic elements, typography and quotes, and as well as geometric patterns. And now, ready to get weirded out, we are on Society6. And you know what? Let's go with area rugs. For example, one of the products that I really like now, we have minimalistic geometric and abstract. We have bright, vivid, floral, or nature elements. We have patterns. This is insane because this is in fact the most accurate answer that I could have thought of if someone literally asked me what is trending on Society6 right now. So that was kind of brilliant. And I even went as far as trying to ask him what kind of shower curtains should I design? So I wanted to know what kind of shower curtains people want to buy because one of my projects involves shower curtains and bathroom decor. So I wrote what kind of shower curtains are people searching to buy and I got fabric shower curtains, plastic, eco-friendly. And at that point I stopped the chat because I don't control the type of shower curtain on Zazzle or Society6. I just control the design, right? So I wrote, I want to sell shower curtains. What kind of designs or colors should I make them in? Then I got this answer. Neutral colors, such as white and beige and gray, are a safe bet and can match a variety of bathroom decor styles. As someone who has been doing SEO research about 
shower curtains for a while i can tell you that other than you know black missing here a lot of people do search for white beige and gray shower curtains that's amazing bold patterns such as stripes geometric shapes or florals can add a fun and lively touch to the bathroom bright colors like yellow pink and green these are literally the three most searched colors i think it was three months ago when i did that research these were the three most searched colors other than the white beige and black nautical themes such as anchors stripes and lighthouse designs can be a great choice for a themed bathroom as well as nature inspired designs this is amazing amazing and even they wrap it up with it's worth considering current interior design trends this is super super brilliant i just want to play around with this a little bit better you know let's let's just do something fun we did say that we can write a short story or any kind of story so let's write um write me a kid's story about a llama a baby llama that uh moved to the big city from the forest do llamas live in the forest from the desert and had a hard time making friends but then met a family of Chinese immigrants <laughs> that moved to the big city of New York <laughs> that uh, well and that adopted her Again, write me a kid's story about a baby llama that moved to the big city of New York from the desert and had a hard time making friends, but then met a family of Chinese immigrants that adopted her. I can't look. Once upon a time in a small desert village, there lived a baby llama named Lola. She was known for her fluffy white fur and big brown eyes, but most of all for her playful personality. One day, Lola's family decided to move to the big city of New York and search for better opportunities. Okay, so they moved with the llama. The baby llama was not deserted by her family. That is important. But she soon realized that life in the city was quite different from what she was used to. The buildings were tall, the cars were loud, and the people were always in a hurry. I'm reading this and I can imagine like, when we're talking, for example, about kids' stories, for me, and, and for those of you who are going to jump in and say something like, oh, this is unethical because you're just going to do this and then you're going to sell it. One, if someone wants to buy it, who cares? I'm not breaking any laws. And two, if I wanted to make this into a Katie Pooh book, and my God, it is still typing. If I wanted to turn this into a kid's book, what I would be probably doing is every sentence here, like every paragraph here will be two or three pages in a book that I will illustrate. So there is a lot of work involved. You have to know how to illustrate this kind of book or hire someone to illustrate it or even know how to bind it and upload it to a certain platform. But this is good work. One day, as Lola was wandering through the busy streets, she stumbled upon a small park. She noticed a family of Chinese immigrants playing and laughing together. Oh. Lola approached them feeling curious and shy. At the same time, the family welcomed her with open arms. This is amazing. From then on, Lola lived happily ever after, surrounded by love and friendship. She never forgot about her old friends in the desert, but she was grateful for the new memories and adventures she shared with her new family in the big city of New York. <laughs> Just for reference, we wrote a story yesterday, well, Chatty to be wrote a story yesterday about a baby werewolf meeting a blue panda. So the baby werewolf was named Luna, which was kind of cool to me. Not just because Luna means moon, but it's also the name of my great grandma from Bulgaria. But <laughs> the, the blue panda was called Sky. This was pretty, pretty epic. I even asked ChatGTP if I should uh, stay with my ex-boyfriend, even though he has commitment issues. Um, me and Misha, my ex-boyfriend, <laughs> read this together. This was some of the best memories I think we have created for ourselves. I tried to ask what custom name gifts are people most looking for. And in this case, notice this because we are talking about trends. What custom name gifts are people most looking to buy? And I've noticed so many people who want to ask ChatGTP about trends to know what to make, what to sell. As a language model, I don't have access to current data on what specific custom name gifts people are currently looking to buy. See this line? 
don't let anyone tell you that ChatGTP can make a design for you or can tell you what to design and you'll become a millionaire. Because one, ChatGTP doesn't know what you should design. Two, you still need to put in the right information in order to get an answer that suits you. And three, you actually have to do the work. And I, I can't stress that enough. We're gonna do some more fun with ChatGTP and then we're gonna summarize this video because I have another video that I'm filming today and also because I can literally do this for hours and yeah, we're gonna talk about this when I summarize this video. But you know what, let's do this. We wrote a short story, let's write a blog post. And let's say for example, I have a society six store and I wanna market it through a blog about home decor. So write me a blog post about comparing modern design. Well, no. Write me a blog post about minimalist um, design or minimalist um, kitchen design. Let's see. Minimalist kitchen design, the beauty of simplicity. Oh, we got a title. Haha, <laughs> that's nice. I love that it understands that a blog would need a title. So we have kitchen design has come a long way in many years. We are talking about minimalism is a design style that focuses on simplicity. We're explaining what minimalism is. And this is for people who would search online. What is minimalistic design? How to, can I have a kitchen that is designed in a minimalist way? And for example, if you're selling on Redbubble, Society6, Zazzle, TeePublic, or on your own store, even on Etsy, or Shopify, or WooCommerce, you can put in several examples of minimalist designs for kitchen. Let's say for curtains, let's say for area rugs, let's say for mugs, or for any kind of that that fits this style that fits the minimalistic style within this blog post or have things on the sidebar. This is actually pretty good and it goes on and on and on. And I'm noticing minimalistic kitchen design repeating itself several times here, which is what you want to do when you're aiming for good SEO. However, we do have a lot of issues that have popped up recently as well with copy AI and any kind of AI that writes text that Google sort of knows that an AI wrote it. So I would recommend whenever you let an AI write something for you, modify it a little bit, make it more human, or even use something like this as research work and then completely rephrase everything to make sure that you're making it yourself. This is one of the things that I did mention when I was doing the copy AI video, I was using it a lot for research, especially, for example, to explain to me the three different types of cubism and stuff like that. And I do think that this is the best way to treat it. So if you want to write blog posts using ChatGPT, whether it's to promote your print and demand or your affiliate links, I would highly recommend doing this, but changing it a little bit. Now, one thing that I do have to stop and say for one second is that for those of you who don't know, there are multiple print on demand platforms that allows you to become your own affiliate. For example, Zazzle and Society6, where you can share a link to your products that includes an affiliate link. In the case of Society6, that's 10% commission. In the case of Zazzle, that's 15. And that price of the commission is added to selling your own merch. So for example, if I would write minimalist bathroom design blog post, and I would put links to my own shower curtains from Society6 or Zazzle, and these links would be affiliate links. If someone purchases my shower curtain, I will get commission for the shower curtain as an affiliate. And if someone purchases from anyone else on Zazzle or on Society6 in this case, I will still get my affiliate commission even if they didn't purchase from my store, which is kind of epic. There was a full video just about that. And with that said, let's find the last thing I want to write here today. And I'm, I'm literally going for the things that I love. I know that a lot of people are just showing examples for using it for t-shirts, but for those of you who know me from the print on demand niche, I'm not that much of a t-shirt person, but I am a person that really likes content creation. For example, YouTube, but also journaling prompts and stuff like that from a new channel that I'm starting about self-love journaling. And in this case, I can do something like, Give me, no, write me 20 journaling prompts for women for self-love. What are your personal values and how do you incorporate them into your daily life? What makes you unique and special? How do you treat yourself with kindness and compassion? And I'm pretty sure it's going to go up to 20, giving me journaling prompts for women for self-love, which I can incorporate in a blog post or in my Substack account for a newsletter and literally make a full video just about that. But I am going to stop generating here because I also 
want to check out, and this is something that I actually haven't checked out before, if it can give me a script for YouTube, uh, write me a YouTube video script explaining explaining to people how to use <laughs> chat GPT <laughs> to make money online. Are you ready? Hey everyone. <laughs> well, let's say hi everyone, not hey everyone. If it said hey everyone, I would be like really freaked out because I do hey everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how you can use ChatGPT to make money online. ChatGPT is an AI language model developed by OpenAI and it's capable of generating human-like text based on input it receives. Oh, oh, wow. One way you can use ChatGPT to make money is offering services as a chatbot. Oh, wow. You can build in chatbots for Facebook and WhatsApp. Another way you can use ChatGPT is by creating content. For example, you can use ChatGPT to generate blog posts. I should have done this before I make this video. <laughs> Oh, wow. Articles on social media updates. You can also say this can save you a lot of time and effort. You can also use ChatGPT to automate tasks that are time consuming and repetitive. For example, you can use it to generate reports, answer customer inquiries, even create emails. Ooh. One more way to use it to make money is by selling access to your chatbot or content. For example, you can sell access to your chatbot to business or individuals who want to use it for customer support. In conclusion, well, it didn't offer all the ways that I was thinking of, but yeah, that's a nice script for making a video. Uh, but you know what? Write me a script explaining to people how to make money on Etsy. I promise I'm not going to make videos that I generated from ChatGPT. I have my own content, but this is whoa and you know what it's kind of funny that it starts with hi everyone because hi everyone is actually the most um i don't know common way for people to start a youtube video but yeah it's going on and on and on and on and i feel like at this point i need to stop this so i can sum up a few things with you guys about chat gpt and the way you can use it to make money so let me do that magic trick again and i'm big again uh first and foremost i would like to thank you so much for those of you who watched the video till this part and if you did enjoy it whether you learned something or just had fun, please hit the like button down below because every time you do that, it really does help my channel telling the YouTube algorithm that this is a cool video and it's gonna show it to more people. And feel free to comment what was the funnest or coolest thing that I shared in this video regarding ChatGPT. Now to the summary. As I mentioned, so many people are hyping up ChatGPT. Hey, give me design ideas for print and man, create me a blog post, do this and do this. But let me give you a little dose of reality. I can give you 2,000 ideas on what to write on t-shirts. You're still going to have to design those t-shirts yourselves. You're still going to have to upload them to a certain platform, which takes a lot of time. You need to have design knowledge. And yes, people can make a text design that looks really bad and it's not going to help you. And you're still going to have to market this and do all this work, even though hey, you can make money with ChatGPT online. Even with a KDP thing, yes, it wrote me a full short story. I don't think it would take me that long to write a short story about that topic that I gave. For example, the llama that goes from the desert to New York City and meets a family of Chinese immigrants. I don't think it would have taken me long to write that kind of story, but I do know it's going to take me a lot of time to illustrate that kid's book. If I do want to make a kid's book out of it, it is still an insane amount of work. Even when it comes to content creation, for example, those journaling prompts, you have no idea how many people make videos about journaling prompts on YouTube. Some of them are like Lavender that has millions of subscribers and millions of views, but others get zero views and get nothing. Even the example I gave about the blog posts, I can have ChatGPT create a million blog posts for me. I still have to upload them to a website that I created and designed in a way that people are attracted to. I still have to do the research what to write about and have the time spent on actually doing this. There is no magic answer. ChatGPT is an amazing tool, but it is what it is, a tool. You're not gonna go to your computer, open ChatGDP and write, please give me money, and money is gonna come your way. That's not how it works, and I hope that you understood that in this video. So whether you're doing print on demand, printables, affiliate marketing, content creation, KDP, or whatever it is that you're doing or trying to do to make money online, I hope that you understand that in today's world, while making money online could be a simple thing, it might not be easy. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand the differentiation when I say something like this, because it is very simple to make money online. The process is simple. The process is, hey, go to uh, the platform of your choosing and upload 
daily or weekly good stuff, whether it's good t-shirt designs to tea public, whether it's good blog posts to your blog on WordPress and then good pins onto Pinterest, or if it's good videos to YouTube, you still have to put in the work yourselves. And for that purpose, a few days ago, I made a video about a challenge that I issued to myself to spend 150 days seriously on a project. In my case, it was 150 types of designs that I will be uploading in 150 days. Yes, I'm always trying to bite more than I could chew. And I've made a freebie printable for you guys to do that as well. And I really recommend that if you want to take on a new project, whether it's selling printables, affiliate marketing, print on demand, you go ahead and watch that video next. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed and that you will try ChatGPT. And I recommend you try it with a timer because otherwise you could lose all of your time just asking a bot some question. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't understand. We have the technology to ask a bot questions and it will give us answer. We have the technology to make like an animated face speak, like move the lips on, in, a, in a way that matches language. And we have voiceovers that are made by an AI. Why hasn't anyone made me a Gideon yet? I want a Gideon. I really want a Gideon. I want a Gideon to tell me, hi, Captain. For those of you who don't know what Gideon is, that's from DC Legends of Tomorrow. And yeah, ChatGPT has got me in such a crazy futuristic mode with time travel and I'm digressing. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this video is going to have so many bloopers. Why is this door shaking? This is so annoying. So what is affiliate marketing? We can ask ChatGPT and of course a network error occurred. <laughs> Two, you still need to input the right information. And the truck is moving. It's gonna be fun filming here. Why is everything shaking in this house? So this this chat that for some reason is not loading. And explore the ways that ChatGPT and explain. <laughs> Redbubble is a well-established platform. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until the neighbor finishes moving the garbage bin again.